Foster care really helped me to see that there's so many other people in the world who don't have what everybody else has. So what we try to do during this season is see what are some ways that we can do something to lift someone up who's going through a tough time. I'm Nico Tortorella. I'm an actor, an activist, and a firm believer that our differences actually make us stronger. I'm on a journey with IKEA to meet real people and discover the diverse and spectacular ways they celebrate the holidays. Maybe you celebrate on just one day, enjoying time with your family. Or maybe you celebrate throughout the entire month and spend that family time helping others, like the Berry family here in Indiana. I'm Mike Berry. And I'm Kristen Berry. We're both authors, and we also are bloggers and podcasters. All eight of our children were adopted. There are 10 of us total. We have three grandchildren, and we also have two son-in-laws, so 15. We are an all-American family. The Berry family consists of a group of people from all different walks of life. And this farm really is a place to come together and heal. Tell me a little bit about this farm. Oh man, this farm is, it's our oasis. It's perfect for a family like ours because it's out in the middle of nowhere. It's been a really good sanctuary for our family. We have six children living at home, very active. They have big imaginations, love adventure. And we recognized that our children just needed space. We really wanted to give them a place where they could just make lasting memories. There's really something very soothing and healing about being around animals. So for our kids, the connection with the animals that we can have out here is priceless. We all come from different backgrounds and different families, and so this season can really be triggering. One of the things that we do is celebrate Advent. It takes the focus off of this one day that can bring so much anxiety and anticipation and excitement, mm -hmm. but it can sometimes be too much. By breaking up those four weeks before, we can really celebrate the whole season in a more relaxed way. I'm beyond impressed with this family. Every December, they find time to create these care packages for other families. Throughout our life as a foster and adoptive family, people have given us things. We really became aware of how it feels to have somebody support us during those tough times. And so one aspect that we wanted to draw into our celebration of the holidays is giving to others, but giving to others in a way that brings respect and dignity. When you're pulled from your home and placed in a home with people you don't know, it can feel like a loss of identity. This care package can bring a sense of normalcy and a sense of together. They're creating real memories, and hopefully some of those can be really positive memories. The holidays are not just about our nuclear family. It's about giving outside of ourselves. That's what they want to leave behind with these care packages. What's everyone's favorite part about this tradition? Doing something nice for other people. It makes me feel happy. We were all part of the foster care system, so it feels good to give it to people who are like going through what we used to go through. Mm. We're going to teach him that Santa's more than just a person, mm -hmm. that it's something that anybody can be. Santa lives kind of in all of us. It's just up to us to tap into it. Yeah. That's beautiful. Christmas is something bigger than just ourselves. And our hope is that our children carry that into their adult lives. That when they look back on their childhood, of course they remember the gifts, and of course they remember the excitement of Christmas morning, but that they also look back and remember that they were able to give to somebody who was in need. I may never leave Barry's. Eight kids just turned into nine. I love you.